Hello, this is Father Louis Skirty with Friends of the Word. Uh, today I have a special guest from the Philippines. She hasn't been there in a long time. She, she warned me of that, but she is of Filipino origin. Welcome, Amory. Thank you, Father Lou. And Amory is also a member of our crew on Friends of the Word, and we just got talking. I thought, well, another person to interview about the level of her faith. That's what I'm really interested in. Okay, Amory. Um, you were born in the Philippines. I was born in the Philippines, born and raised in the Philippines. And how old were you when you came to the United I States? I was, uh, when I came, when we immigrated here in the United States, I was uh, 22 years old. Great. Just finished college. Wow. And were you single? I was single. And um, I was brought up and raised as a devout Catholic. And I went to um, an old girl Catholic school. Oh, very Catholic. <laughs> yes, from my kindergarten wow. to college. And the, what was the name the of that school? The college is Saint Therese College. Great. Of Lucia, Saint Therese. Yes, that's yes, great. Yes, great. Uh, it was then run by a German nun, Belgian. I'm sorry, Belgian nuns who spoke English. Or? Uh, spoke English and French. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Yes, that's, and that's they were nice. very, very strict. And I remember when uh, once we entered the school campus, I could hear the gates, the iron gates clocking up and like nobody can go out. Or in. Or in. <laughs> something. Yes, they're very strict. Okay. But uh, it is foundation of my faith. Sure. And we were taught well. And we grew up to be very religious and spiritual. Now, the, 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 the town that you, you were living in, the yes, city, I, what I was live that? in a small town uh, called Quezon City. Okay, have you been back there since? I, you... I haven't been back to the Philippines since 1996. Wow. Okay. So, all my family are all here in the United States. Oh, that's great. That's so, great. Um, it's been a long time since I have been. Right. To my home country. So you're saying you grew up very, very spiritual, very religious. Yes. And and the Filipino people are very religious. We know that from from recent uh, visits of His Holiness. Yes. Um, t tell me what what was it like growing up there? Um, it's a uh, very family oriented. We're all very close to each other. That's like crazy. families are, and even other families. We, we treat them like families too. <laughs> Extended families. Extended families. So family is uh very important to us. And, of course, religion is number one. Okay, I'm, and, we'll get to that. Yes. I, I, I just, I, as you said, families. I have a friend of mine who lives in Florida. Uh, she's Filipino. She's married to uh, an American, Irish-American uh, young man. Well, adult. And uh, he tells me all the time, he says, come over. Whenever there's a holiday or a weekend, come over. Just walk over. If you're around, just come in. I said, well, I would never do that. He said, we'd never notice you because there's so many people. Yes. The, the, it's just all, all the Philippine family members come and their girlfriends and their boyfriends. And he said, it's always, and food, I love the Philippine yes. food. Yes. That's what Filipinos are known for, our hospitality. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, how does that relate to your faith as a Catholic? Uh, well, it's like, it's already ingrained in me being Catholic. Yes. So uh, when we arrived here in the United States... I didn't know that there are other religion here in America. Oh, that's funny. Interesting. I thought and you're every, 20 years old. Uh, yes. And, right. and, and educated. Yes, yes, in a, yes. Like almost a convent run Atmosphere, by nuns, right, all girls, right, Catholic. Right. So when I arrived here in the United States, I thought Catholic is the only religion. So then I started <laughs> meeting people who are of different religion. I worked for the United Nations. Did you really? So the yes, diversity yes. is... Oh, 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 obvious. Yes, yes, yes. Unquestionable. Like, so I, in my cubicle, I like I worked with the next lady is from Palestine, and the next gentleman in my cubicle is from Israel, and the one in my back, atheist. Wow. So it didn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, and then yeah, they start... Yeah. So like it was like a shock for me, and then mm. I have to accept other religion, their beliefs, right, and right. I have friends who are from the Middle East, and also I have a lot of Jewish friends, but, you know, I have a, a very strong-rooted Catholic, Catholic faith, great, great, so, great, great, <laughs> yes, great. And, and I'm just uh, glad 
you know, like I could sometimes share with them yes. my beliefs. Excellent, excellent. And we met by your attending the Mass I was celebrating at Annunciation in Wayne. But that's not your home parish, right? No, Father. My parish, home parish, is uh, St. Joseph in Lincoln Park. Great. And how did you happen to come to Annunciation? Well, when I am uh, not working, uh, I know that there's a 1205 Mass in the That's Annunciation. Great. That's great. So I attend that Mass. That's great. And so... That was that was quite a blessing for us to meet. Yes, <laughs> well, I have to right. tell the order. One day, um, the person who normally would be videoing the uh, mass and the homilies, the weekday word, is Maggie. In this case, um, Maggie was not able to come, so I said, "The Holy Spirit will provide. Somebody will be able to." And I walk into the church, into the chapel, which is where the mass is offered, and I see Amber. It was before mass, and she's doing something like this on her iPad, iPod, and I said. See, the Holy Spirit yes. directed me right to her. And I said, do you know how to use this? Oh, sure, an iPod, an iPad, whatever it's called. <laughs> and, you, and you went right to it. And That's as you're right. great, I, That's we right, appreciate Father. that. Yes. Um, wh why, why have you participated in this, in spreading the word? Oh, um, I was thinking of that, Father. And I say, I'm not, I'm a, a member of some Filipino prayer group called mm. the Couples for Christ. Great. So I attend meetings, and sometimes they they will say, "Who wants to share their story?" And I'm like so afraid or shy. Really. And and it's like I know when you share your story, it's like a part of evangelization. Yes. Or, yes. So, but I said, "Oh, I'm so shy to share my story or to say something." So I said, "I cannot, Lord. I cannot. When I pray, I Lord, I cannot evangelize because." Maybe I don't really know how to speak that wow. way. Wow. So I think by assisting Father Lou in the Friends of the Word, I am assisting him. And in a way, I'm part of his evangelization. You are definitely a part. Is Not in a part? way, a very intimate way. Yes. yes. So Excellent. my prayers were heard. And, and now I'm assisting Father Lou. That's great. But it's, it's, it's so important that our, I'm glad you, you brought that aspect of evangelization up. Not everyone is a preacher. Okay? Not everyone is a teacher. We all have our own gifts. And, and I think St. Paul makes that very clear. We have to use our gifts for the common good. And I think technology is very important today in our communication of the Word of God. And, and you and, and Josh, another young man from our community, helps us, and along with the other crew members. Mm -hmm. But it's it's a great way for the layperson to realize he or she is not separate from evangelization. You're intimately part of evangelization. I mean, we, we, we're priests. Okay, priests, bishops, you know, pope, you know. We have our tasks, our assignments. But but the body of Christ is the body of Christ, all people. Yeah. So you're, I mean, first of all, you bring your ethnic background, your Filipino Catholic background, and then your your knowledge of computers to us, mm -hmm. and you're evangelizing. You really are. Yes. I mean, yes. What, what what our audience learns from our shows, I hope they're learning something, um, is because of your and Maggie and Bill and the other crew members, uh, time. They say time, talent, and treasure. Well, we got your time and talent, that's for sure. Yes. And, and the I'm treasure honest. is the yes. sharing the faith. Um, how is the faith here practiced differently than in the Filipinas? And I, I should say, is it practiced differently than in the Philippines? Well, um, we are, the Philippine, most Filipinos are really devout Catholics. So uh, we pray the Angelus uh, at 6 o'clock in the morning and then 12 o'clock noontime and then 6 o'clock in the evening. Great. And you always hear uh, church bells ringing and like, Everywhere you go, there's like every other corner, there's a church and people attend, you know, going to masses. So really, and, and, and I notice and I know for the fact that Filipinos, even though they have uh, undergoing real big problems in their life mm. because of their huge faith to our Lord, you know, they could still smile and be happy because I think they live it, they lift it up there to the Lord, and and they just trust God. God bless you. Thank you so much, Henry. This has been wonderful. And Thank trusting you, God is our closing phrase, and I love it. It's wonderful. I personally always say, leave it to the Holy Spirit. You know, as long as you're in the hands of God, the Holy Spirit will, will guide you 
He's yes, guided Father. me so many times, and he, he's guided you to us. Yes, Father. And I hope continues to guide you in your life. Thank you, Father. This has been Father Louis Skirty with Friends of the Word, interviewing Emery Abad, a member of our crew, but also ethnically a Filipino Catholic and a member of our community here in the United States, locally, Wayne and Lincoln Park. Thank you for joining us. I'd like to hear from you for suggestions, questions, and answers, that which we'll air. If we air your question, we'll send you a gift, okay? So give me a buzz at L, excuse me, Father Lou Skirty at hotmail.com. God bless you.